Hello everybody out there watching on YouTube and welcome to race number four of season five of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series. I'm Levi McIntyre, the voice of the NNSCRA Marvel Studios Cup Series, here to welcome you to the Toyota Save More 20 Minute Endurance Race here at Sonoma Raceway as we're getting set for 20 minutes or 16 laps if need be here at Sonoma Raceway. So yeah, from now on, road course races are going to be endurance races and we'll see how that works. This will be the test race, and if it doesn't work out, then we'll just end up going back to just doing laps. But without further ado, before we get to the starting lineup, let's actually take a look at the point standings coming into the race today. So after California last week and winning two races in a row, Mad... <laughs> Excuse me, I had a hiccup there. Mad McIntyre is the points leader, and he leads by 27 points over both... Carson Gum and Benjamin Miles. Third, or actually fourth, is Tim Fiegel. Fifth, Sean Galligan. Sixth, Raphael LaDuke. Seventh, Joshua Collard. Eighth, James Qualls. Ninth, Patrick Smith. And then tenth is our pole setter for today, Seth Cole. But let's look at the starting lineup. Starting in the last row is Dylan Thoreau and Benjamin Miles. Top ten, Seth Cole on the pole with Emmanuel Hartnett starting next to him. Row two DJ Curtis, Patrick Smith, row 3, Tim Fiegel, Diego Yepes, row 4, Trent Dunham, James Qualls, and then row 5, Dylan Young, and James McLeod. But let's go ahead and get the command to fire engines for the Toyota Save Mart 20-minute endurance race at Sonoma, the final race of the West Coast Swing. Drivers, start your engines! You will see momentarily on your screen the 20 minute timer, so that way you can keep track of the time going on in this race. But this race will be interesting because pit stops are going to be a big factor in this race for sure, so it's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out. But we're getting ready to come to the start-finish line to get the green flag for the Toyota Save Mart 20-minute endurance race at Sonoma. Boogity, 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 let's go racing! Well, Seth Cole leads the first lap, and one car in the pits is Rafael LaDuke in the 77, so tough break for him. He's going to end up being one of the bottom five who won't get points going into the next race, which the next race, race five, will be a return to an old school track from this channel, and that's Eminem Super Speedway. But anyways, right now, Seth Cole leads the way as we're almost two minutes into this event. But DJ Curtis and Patrick Smith up in second and third as the, everybody's getting kind of separated a little bit as I'm looking, trying to look for the closest battle going on on track and here it is between, whoa, what in the world is Preston Plore doing into the dust? dusting it up in the dirt there but right here's the closest bow it's between Dylan Jacobs and Jonathan Zorling this looks like it's for 22nd 
Well, now we got a battle going on here between two Dodges, Jake Rogers and Zachary Fitzwater. So while the field is mostly scattered right now, Seth Cole still leading the way, but only by less than a second over DJ Curtis. As we're about three minutes into this race. Meanwhile, a couple of, uh, or actually one rookie currently right now in the top five, Diego Yepes in the 10 car, right now running in that fifth position. So, so far, a good race going for that number 10 car. And then you got Tim Fiegel right behind him. And Tim Fiegel stayed in fourth in points after last week at California. And Tim Fiegel, he's definitely looking to gain the upper hand in the point standings because I have no idea where the 32 of uh, Matt McIntyre, the points leader, currently runs. But we might get to see potentially a battle for second soon because Patrick Smith is slowly reeling in the four of DJ Curtis. In fact, let's actually take a look and see where the points leader, Matt McIntyre, currently runs. Currently back in 34th, so not a very good run right now for Matt McIntyre. But keep in mind, pit stops are going to be a huge, huge factor in this race. So anything can happen as Dougie Shears is trying to get around the 32 for that position as they're side by side going down the hill in a big wheel hop for the 32 and that's going to cost him a spot. Yeah, that's going to put him right now in 35th, which is like the danger zone spot for points. Because like I keep mentioning... If you're in that bottom five of 36th through 40th at the end of a race, you don't get any points. And it can really cost you. But I tell you, one driver who's really having a good day, who's way back in points, dead last in points, might I add, and that's Emmanuel Hartnett. Or actually, no, Hartnett 37th, but he's still quite a ways back in points, but right now he's having a solid performance in the fourth position. Let's actually look for dead last in points, which is Joshua Sakuli, a former champion. Decent day right now up in 13th. As Seth Cole has led every single lap so far today here at Sonoma, and I thought it looked like he was maybe going to go into pit road, and I thought that could have made the race even more interesting than it already is. And right now, Jessica Sheldon, I'm thinking that there was an incident between her and Rafael LaDuke, and that's why LaDuke is out, and why the O2 is all the way in the back by herself. We might see a battle rage on here for the 8th position. James McLeod's seemingly looking like he's a bit frustrated with the 2 of Dylan Young as he can't seem to find a way to get around him. But he's trying to get a run going. He just needs to have the 2 make some sort of mistake in hopes of gaining ground on the racetrack. But both of the Sega Motorsports drivers are having a really good day running 6th and 7th with Fiegel in 6th and Trent in 7th. Chris Dollerton in the 12 car running in 11th from what I saw. As it's pretty much single file all throughout the racetrack. As we cross the line and we are over seven minutes into this race.
And we're on lap 7, just completed lap 6, so... I don't know, it's gonna be very, very close to see if we get the timer done before the laps are completed. But then again, it does take over 70 seconds, between 70 and 75 seconds, to get around this racetrack. And then you throw in pit stops into the equation. That can really drag this whole thing out to the point where we can get through the allotted time. As we got 12 minutes to go, 8 minutes have been completed, less than 12 minutes to go in this race, and we are 6 laps in, getting ready to complete lap 7. And nobody's electing to come into pit road just yet. But man, I you gotta feel for Matt McIntyre. Right now, he's back in 39th. It looks like he must have gotten spun. And now he's by himself in 39th. And the points leader coming into this race finds himself in a dangerous spot of trying to get into uh, the top 35 to get the points that he needs. Because he came into this race as the points leader, and now he could end up very well losing the points lead. And in fact, he's so far behind, you could see Seth Cole in frame for a second. As Seth Cole, if he leads this lap, then he will have clinched most laps led bonus points. And those are going to be huge. Not only does he get the two bonus points for getting the pole, he got the extra bonus point for leading a lap. But now he's coming into pit road. Oh man, this is going to really make the race interesting if they can make it on gas because they're pitting just at the halfway point. Looks like everyone's coming in except for Alex Drayton. He's staying out. Any other driver going to stay out? No. Everybody's coming in except for the 14 of Alex Drayton. He may be playing off some strategy potentially because everyone else except for actually other cars, Matt McIntyre hasn't come in, neither is Jessica Sheldon, but Jessica Sheldon's getting ready to come around as we just got past halfway in the timer. So we got less than 10 minutes to go, and Jessica Sheldon's actually going to stay out another lap. As right now, Alex Drayton leads the way here at Sonoma, but he is yet to come in the pit road. And we got a huge shakeup in the pit stops. Massive shakeup. Patrick Smith came out ahead. But Drayton's still out on the racetrack. As it's kind of backed up here in Pitt Road. And now Alex Drayton's coming in. I'm not sure if Jessica Shelton's still out on the racetrack. Oh, and there's an incident. James Qualls and Cody Lamas, it looked like they got together trying to come out of the pits. There's Shelton. I don't know, let's see if Alex Drayton can still keep the race lead after all this. As this pit stall is just short of the start-finish line, so that's interesting to say the very least that his pit stall is just before the start-finish line, and it looks like he's going to go with four tires, but I think Drayton is going to end up losing the race lead, though he does lead at the line there. But now he gets passed as we got a fight for the lead now. And it looks like DJ Curtis, with a huge move on the outside, is going to take that spot away from Patrick Smith. Huge move. That has to be the move of the race right there. DJ Curtis with that huge pass on the outside of Patrick Smith. So now... And actually, I see a little buckle on the hood of the four. Looks like he may have gotten into somebody on pit road, but luckily it's not all about speed here on road courses. It's all about precision. But let's take a look at a full field rundown after those pit stops concluded. 
as I'm about to double check the timer right now. We are 12 and a half minutes into this race and we're coming to six laps to go, but DJ Curtis is your race leader. Second, Patrick Smith. Third, Diego Yepes is Jessica Sheldon's going to surrender fourth to come into pit road. So Jessica Sheldon will end up falling back to the back again. Fourth will now be Emmanuel Hartnett. Fifth, Trent Dunham. Sixth, Patrick, or excuse me, Paul Minnick. Seventh, Alex Drayton. Eighth, Dylan Young. Ninth, the dominant car of the day. Seth Cole is back in 9th, and then 10th is Jake Rogers. 11th, actually a battle for 11th between James McLeod and then 12th, Chris Dollarton. 13th, Carson Gum. 14th, Jay Jefferson. 15th is Jonathan Zorling. 16th is Dylan Jacobs. 17th, Tim Fiegel. 18th, Joshua Sakuli. 19th is... Uh, Ethan Hoffman, I forgot his name for a second, and then 20th is Matt McIntyre, 21st Kyle Matthews, 22nd is Colin Phillips, 23rd Zachary Fitzwater, 24th Anthony McCrory, 25th is Colin Francis, 26th is Preston Plourd, 27th Joshua Collard, 28th Sean Galligan, 29th Jake Baskinger, 30th Dougie Shears, 31st is Benjamin Miles, 32nd is Charles Sanford, 33rd is Dylan Poteet, 34th is under battle between 34th being Cody Lamas and now 35th James Qualls, 36th and the first driver to not get points right now would be James Shelley, although he's got a big run going into the hairpin, so does Dylan Thoreau who was 38th and then and then you've got well, actually, no, James Qualls, he's a lap down in 39th, so never mind. And then Jessica Sheldon's going to be back in the 38th position as a result. I don't know how James Qualls got a lap down. Must have been from that incident early on. But right now, DJ Curtis pulling away from second place Patrick Smith right now. As right now, the only driver that's out of the race is Rafael LeDuc. As we are less than five minutes to go in this race and four laps to go here at Sonoma. So it's going to be very, very, very close between the timer and the laps counter. Very, very close indeed. But right now... DJ Curtis holding a one and a half second lead over Patrick Smith, but Diego Yepes, he's starting to reel in the 55 of uh, Patrick Smith, and these are two fellow Dodges, but for two different teams. You got Patrick Smith for Michael Waltrip Racing, and then you've got the 10 of Diego Yepes for Evernham Motorsports. How about Emmanuel Hardnett, who came into this race 37th in the point standings. He's having an excellent day up here in the 4th position, so he's going to get plenty of points going into next week, which is Eminem Super Speedway, a return to old glory. As I'm looking now, we are now 3 laps to go with 3.5 minutes left. So yes, like I said, it is going to be very, very close between the lap counter and the 20 minute timer. I got a feeling it's going to be right on par with each other, so that's going to be really interesting. As we're approaching three minutes left in the race, right now you got to wonder what must these drivers be thinking about right now. I know one thing on Diego Yepes's mind is that he wants to get a huge big time run on that 55 and try to get around him to get a second place run. Closest battle up here in the top five right now, Paul Minnick, who's in sixth right now, he's trying to reel in fifth place. 
Trent Dunham. But as far as an actual battle going on on the racetrack that I can find, doesn't look like there is one. It's just all single file. As we are now at two laps to go with two minutes and 20 some seconds left. That last lap for DJ Curtis was 72 seconds, so it is going to be very, very close. But right now, DJ Curtis still just barely pulling away from the 55. It's like he's not pulled away to a monumentally huge gap, although 1.6 seconds is pretty big. He's not been pulling away in a grand fashion, and in fact, Patrick Smith, that last lap, was actually a teeny bit faster than the 44, but, or the, not, or not the 44, the 4. So Patrick Smith is desperately hoping that the 4 makes some big mistake and capitalizes on that. But we're getting ready to come to the line and man it is going to be very 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 close as then the white flag on the lap timer is displayed and we got pretty much this lap to get the timer in but regardless once the timer runs out the lap that the drivers were on would have to be complete before the uh, results can be tallied as we got 50 seconds left in the official timer and we're on the last lap of the race but Diego Yepes trying to figure out what does he have to do to try and get around this 55 car he did get a bit of a run there but I don't know if it's gonna work DJ Curtis all he's gotta do is just drive smart not make any mistakes and he is home free to get his first win of the season as we're getting ready to come through the hairpin with 10 seconds to go in the timer but it looks like he's going to be able to get there in time for the lap to be completed once the timer ends and the timer's just expired the timer's just expired and the race is over DJ Curtis has just won the Toyota Save Mart 20 minute endurance race at Sonoma. Very, very close between the timer and the lap counter. The timer ran out before the lap was completed, but they managed to get there to finish it all off. Good job, DJ Curtis, who capitalized on pit stops managed to pull a power move going to the outside of second place Patrick Smith and managed to get his first win of the season. But let's look at the rest of the results. Speaking of Patrick Smith, man, he was gaining there at the end. You could tell, look at the interval, 1.09 seconds. He was catching the four, but I don't think he would have had a shot unless there were more laps into the race. But Diego Yepes, the highest finishing rookie in the third position. Emmanuel Hartnett, much needed run in fourth. And then Trent Dunham rounds out the top five in fifth. Paul Menick finishes out in sixth. Alex Drayton with a great run in seventh. The dominant car of the day, Seth Cole finishes in eighth. Jake Rogers ninth. And then rounding out the top ten was James McLeod. Rest of the top 20 was Chris Dollerton, Carson Gum, Jay Jefferson, Jonathan Zorlean. Dylan Jacobs, Tim Fiegel, uh, Ethan Hoffman. Matt McIntyre came back to get a top 20 finish. Good job for him. Joshua Sakuli and Kyle Matthews. Rest of the top 30 was Dylan Young, Colin Phillips, Zachary Fitzwater, Anthony McCrory, Colin Francis, uh, Preston Plord, Sean Galligan, Joshua Collard, Jake Baskinger, Dougie Shears. Rest of the top 35 was Benjamin Miles, Charles Sanford, Dylan Poteet, Cody Lamas, James Shelley. Everybody else does not get points, and they were Dylan Thoreau, uh, Ryan Butcher, Jessica Sheldon. One car lap down, James Qualls, and then the only car out of the race was Raphael LeDuc.
But that does it for our coverage today at Sonoma Raceway for our first endurance race of the season. Next week, we head to a classic track of this channel, m and Super Speedway for the m and 500. But until then, here are your results, rookie points and regular points heading into m and And this is Levi McIntyre signing off.